All right, got the car in its temporary home. To those who are new to my channel, I'm building a Lamborghini Diablo 60 from the ground up. The slogan is, it's not a real Lamborghini. It's definitely not a kit car. It's just American built. A real quick overview. I have a Lamborghini replica chassis that I built with a Lamborghini Murcielago V12 drivetrain and a lot of OEM parts. So today, gonna just kind of clean it up a little bit, see where things are. It's been two years since I've even looked at it and get kind of a game plan. I'm thinking of probably about getting the steering set up. That way I actually have a fully function rolling chassis. Brought a few parts, we'll drop them off. This shop or garage is not really set up to be building vehicles in, but you know, it's better than being in jail or better than being in storage and we're just gonna make it work. All right, what do we got here? We got a few boxes here. This is what thousands of dollars of Lamborghini parts look like and just a couple few boxes. Uh, I don't actually remember what's all in there. Of course I remember what's in there. Right, that box right there, that cost me $2,000 because that's a damaged $5,000 steering rack. This box right here, I actually don't know what that is. This box here is probably about four grand worth of parts. You have a couple grand worth of stuff there. Uh, yeah, we'll get these things out, see what they are. All right, let's go through a few of these boxes here that I brought in. We have a, oh yeah, those are sweet. Here is a manual Mercy Lago pedal box. And here we got a Diablo early gen pedal box. You can kind of see the differences. Lamborghini went to a little bit wider spacings on the late Diablos and Mercies. You see this uh, arm is straight, opposed to being bent. And they also got rid of this spring that mounts back here, bolts on here, and it keeps tension on that clutch pedal. Um, and they did away with it. Some of those earlier models have those really heavy clutches and that was a solution to lighten the clutch pull. All right, let's open this box right here. Drive shaft for the front wheel. Yeah, there's the tube. There's a bearing or the, the drive shaft actually. So we're not gonna use this. So we're gonna run this thing in a two wheel drive setup. But we want to use this. The reason for it, they found out with these two-wheel drive elites, they make these kits. But what happens is it causes a lot of vibration. And they found that if you just keep that uh, tube in here and then run it all the way up to the front, which you can't see right there, you get a lot more stability and less vibration. So we're going to mock some stuff up, make our own kit, do it that way. This box here is an OEM steering rack. It actually was damaged. I paid a lot of money for it. I paid two grand for a damaged one. One's in good condition on eBay. We're like 4,500 bucks. All right, I'm gonna pull this thing out here. And then here is the damaged part right there, which we have, I believe it's this box here. Let's see. Yes, we have a replacement right there, straight. This thing here, 300 bucks, ridiculous. Would have been smarter to buy an aftermarket steering rack that's cheaper and probably even better. Yes, but I wanted this to feel like a real car. We'll see if my $2,000 budget rack is gonna pan out. This actually is just a TRW, very nice steering rack. It's not specific to Lamborghini. Maserati did use it in one of their vehicles, but very difficult to get. You actually can't get one anymore, even for Maserati. So that's why that rack is so expensive. So I bought this excess power battery two years ago. Any guesses what the charge on that is going to be? Let's find out. <laughs> Nice fluke. 
bust out the charger. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Obviously, I got a little bit of time here of, as far as getting this garage set up. Gonna have to get a welding table in here, maybe a fabrication table, and some tools. I might bring a roll away toolbox, maybe just get a cart. I have to get some welders, so there's some money invested in that. And when I lived in Oregon, my uh, previous company, I had a half a million dollar worth of equipment in a shop that I had access to. No longer have that, so you know, some of that, I have to supply that myself. So funding for this project goes into tooling, which uh, slows up this process. And also even just getting Lamborghini parts. I got parts from Lamborghini that are on back order for two years and I still have no ETA. Um, even if you have deep pockets, it's a slow process. And that's not what this channel is, right? I'm a little guy. There's an expression to insult the little guy and that's, uh, hey, you're just small potatoes. But let's be honest, I'm not even small potatoes. I'm more like tater tots, but hey, tater tots are good. So moving forward, I'm just going to do real quick videos kind of like this, not really spend that much time on them. I spent a lot of time on those My Story videos, which were really just diminished returns. To spend hours on them and just get a couple hundred views. So for the time being, just going to kind of go back to this, see how they go. Thank you for taking the time for watching. Until next time, we out.